I admit, I watched this movie just so that I wouldn't have to think about something intellectual to talk about in a video. This is where an intro would go if I ever got around to making one. Ha! Yeah, this isn't going to be edited at all. Um, no. So, Starship Trooper. Um, it was... It was a good movie, I guess. I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's like, okay, t let me tell you what it's about. So there's the main character guy. And he has this girlfriend. But it's clear that he likes her more than she likes him. And then she, I mean, he has this other friend who's also a girl. And she likes him more than he likes her. And then they have Neil Patrick Harris, who is psychic. And not even just like, you know, ooh, ah, your favorite color is blue, I'm psychic. No, it's like seriously some sort of like evolutionary thing that like that's a thing people are now. Like they're psychic. Like some people are, I don't know, what's an evolutionary thing that makes some people better? Like some people have seven toes, some people are psychic. Like ah, that's just accepted in the, in the future. And yeah, so... And then there's this other guy that goes to their school who's, like, on the football team. And then he says hi to the main guy's girlfriend. And they're flirting with each other. And then the main guy gets mad at him, even though it's his girlfriend who's flirting right back. Like, seriously, get your priorities straight. And then they get into a fight. And he's like, you, I'm going to in football and then he like <laughs> it's so stupid they're so stupid like they get over they get in a fight over a girl who clearly doesn't even like him that much and then he talks about how he wants to go into the military because his girlfriend's going into the military even though they're going to be going into completely different branches like I don't even know what the point of that is but it turns out to be a good point like him, yeah, everyone who I just talked about, they go into the military. And it turns out to be a good thing because, like, a week after they're, you know, in their training or whatever, uh, where, where they're from, Buenos Aires, I think. How are they from Buenos Aires? They're all rich white kids. I don't understand why they're there in South America and they're white. I don't care. Karen, you can't just ask people why they're white. No. So, yeah, they're... The um, entire country gets blown up. So that sucks. He's like on the phone with his mom and dad, and they're like, Oh, what's happening? Is it raining? Oh, I'm gonna die now. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. And so, um, yeah, and then the entire movie is them being like, Oh my goodness, bugs are being mean. I'm going to kill you, bugs. Rawr! And it has its moments. It has its moments. But it's a lot of stuff that I'm like, uh, you could skip over this. I don't, I don't really care. Really, I like their transitions. They had the, these little graphic things that are like so like cheesy, like 90s graphics. I'm sure they were good at the time. But right now, it's just like, that's, that's not what computers would look like in the future. But it's fine for how it is, and I like how whenever we're not talking to the characters, like, that's how they they tell us what's going on in the rest of the world, is they're, like, these little, um, little videos about, how would I describe those? I don't know, they're not, like, web videos, but they, they do it, like, you can watch part of the video and just be like, what would you like to see next? And then they click on something else, like, you can see, like, like, a window for, I'm, I'm just wasting my time. And it doesn't matter. Like, I like those transition parts where there was, like, an announcer in the background and he's talking about how we're going to kill bugs. Really, you know, so lightheartedly. Like, there's not a war going on. <laughs> we're going to take these bugs down. Thousands of men have been killed, but it is good. Just watch this infomercial. It was really weird. Yeah, it was an infomercial voice when they're talking about war. It's crazy. Um, I, I liked it. I don't really get what, I don't, I guess it's not, it, it was a real, 
this movie would have been better if it just followed Neil Patrick Harris. And not even just because, like, I like Neil Patrick Harris, just his character was the best character. Like, everyone else, like, yeah. His character was the most interesting character. Like, you, you have a psychic person. You don't just put him in the background. He doesn't, you don't just, like, let the psychic person have three scenes and is not on for the rest of the movie. Why would you do that? No, you have a psychic person. That's your person. That's the person that you ha have the camera and you're following them around. But apparently these pe people thought differently. They wanted to follow the guy who's going off into war because he wants to be with his girlfriend, even though he's going to be thousands of miles away from his girlfriend that makes sense and then his girlfriend dumps him because she's like oh well you're only here for a couple of years I want to do this as a career and if I'm going to focus on my career I'm not gonna have time for you which of course means I would like to you know screw the guy who's training me to fly airplanes sorry dude and then he finally gets together with the other girl who liked him and then she fucking I'm going to say it. She dies. I don't care about spoiling you. She dies. She dies. Now you know. And it's so terrible because it's like she was the only person I like. It's like Neil Patrick Harris and her are the only cool people. Everyone else, it's like, nah, you can, I don't care about you. You're stupid. And I just, ah, it's stupid that she should have died. Ah. And now it's like, they're back together, like the main couple are back together, and I'm like, you guys suck together. I don't even know. But it has like a dot 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 ending, like to to be continued. I don't know, but I wouldn't. I don't know. I'm not gonna watch the next one because it's just going to be more of this. But I, it was fun. It was fun, if only for the parts with like the drill sergeants yelling at people. It was fun for the parts that were referenced in Starship the musical. Like, if there's anything that you thought was funny in Starship, just watch this movie and it will be so much funnier. This movie will be, it was so much more enjoyable um, after watching Starship the Musical and like getting the, oh, it's so hilarious. But other than that, it was, it was an okay movie. It was a little confusing towards the end because someone was there and then they were like hysterical and then they got eaten by a bug. But then at the end, he like saved the day. I think that was the same person. And then one of the drill sergeants was like his teacher from when he was in high school. But I wasn't, I don't, I don't, I didn't get it. I, I just didn't get it. And yeah, I'm not going to edit this video, so I should stop talking now. A uh, final summation, Starship Troopers is an okay movie, but is better it when <laughs> is better if you have seen Starship the Musical and can laugh about the similarities. And the ending is really crap. The ending is total crap. Like seriously, that's how you get what? That doesn't even that sounds terrible. That's what it sounds like. It sounds terrible. But whatever. I hope you've had a good day. And I will talk to you later. I'm going to go to bed. And bye, YouTube.